welcome back uh, in this section we are going to uh, study about the uh, hash function uh, based uh, mac Uh, okay, last uh, in last video we have seen the uh, uh, information about the MAC that is a message authentication code. Now uh, there are various uh, 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 functions that we can apply for uh, encoding this particular uh, MAC MAC uh, mode here, and uh, uh, there are certain ways in which we can say this uh, this particular um, uh, innovation for the uh, uh, this hash function MAC. Is there so there are some motivations behind it. The first uh, is that uh, cryptographic hash functions such as uh, MD, MD7, MD5, and SHA generally execute the faster in uh, software uh, than the symmetric block ciphers such as the DES. So this is one of the major uh, reason behind the uh, hash function based uh, MAC. Uh, second is library code of uh, for the uh, cryptographic hash functions is widely available so because of which we can say there is a uh, more uh, requirement or the demand for this particular type of mac functions so uh, hmac uh, design uh, objectives we can see uh, in uh, standard rfc uh, 2104 there are some uh, at least out some design objectives for the uh, hmac how it is going to be designed so uh, to uh, use uh, without modification available hash functions uh, in the particular you have to use the hash functions that perform well in software and for uh, which code uh, is uh, freely and uh, widely available so that code must be uh, free and uh, widely available um, next is uh, to allow the for uh, easy replaceability of the embedded hash functions in uh, in case of faster or the uh, more secure hash functions are found or the required. Uh, next is the, to preserve the original performance of the hash function without incurring uh, a significant degradation. Uh, next is to use the use and handle the keys in the simple way. Uh, and the last one is to have the well understood and cryptographic analysis of the strength of uh, the authentication mechanism based on a reasonable assumptions about the embedded hash function. So uh, HMAC algorithm can be defined with the following terms that is H capital H is the embedded hash function uh, that is example MD5 SHA1 um, uh, uh, RIPE PMD 6160 so uh, next is the initial value input that is to the hash function M is a message input to HMAC um, including the padding specified in the embedded hash function Y is ith block of the message m uh, from uh, 0 to l minus 1 l is nothing but the number of blocks in m and b is number of bits in the block uh, n is uh, uh, length of the hash code produced by the uh, embedded hash function a is a secret key recommended uh, length uh, is u uh, u uh, and uh, if uh, key length is greater than b the key is uh, input to the hash function to produce the Produce an n bit key. Uh, k plus is nothing but the k padded with the zeros on the left so that in the result is b bits in the length. Now, this is the structural arrangement for the HMAC uh, uh, algorithm or we can say HMAC code. Uh, here, the uh, key k, k plus, which is uh, padded with the zeros, are being uh, provided at the sorry. Uh, so, in which we can say this is a uh, addition of ipad and k plus so we will see this particular function or the uh, entity with the following equations that is coming in the next slide so this uh, um, ipad is uh, added with the uh, padded key k to produce the si in output so this is a, um, a kind of block input uh, to provide it to the hash function so here the um, message is in the in terms of y0 to y l minus 1 bits so which is provided to the hash function hash is uh, with the along with the initial value produces the n bit output now we, in terms of the embedded output that is h of uh, s of i m provided message is given and added to um, b bits now this particular bits are being uh, added with the uh, uh, 
next frame initial frame which is provided with the s0 uh, here the same procedure is being carried out uh, over here o only the difference is the b bits are being uh, used for generating the s0 now hash function is going to again take this particular length and produce the uh, n bit output so uh, initial value uh, is also of n bit and producing the embedded mac function which is h of mac k in terms of k and math uh, masses that is a it is a combination of the key as well as math uh, masses m so this forms the structure of the uh, hash uh, message authentication code so i pad suppose i is equal to 00110110 so it is a 36 uh, hexadecimal repeated b by 8 times and uh, o pad is nothing but the 0101100 so this is the 5 say in hexadecimal which is repeated b by 8 times uh, so match uh, so h mac can be expressed uh, as h mac uh, km is equal to h uh, k plus o pad uh, h of k plus i pad m so it can be described uh, uh, as follows append the zero to the first end of the k uh, to create a b bit string k plus that is if k is the length of 160 bits and b is a 512 then k will be appended uh, with 44 zeros xor can bitwise of uh, exclusive or uh, k plus with the ipad to produce the bit bit uh, blocks si append m to si again then apply the uh, h to the stream generated in the step 3 uh, xor k plus with the uh, opad to produce the b bit block s0 append the next uh, half uh, sorry uh, append the hash result from the step 4 to uh, so s0 then apply h uh, to the stream generated in the step 6 and output the result that the xor will be ipad results in the flipping one one half of the bits of k uh, the xor with the uh, o part results in flipping one half of the bits of the k using a different set of bits uh, so while passing s of i and s of 0 through the comparison function of the H, uh, hash algorithm we have pseudo randomly generated two keys from k security of h mac uh, is given in page number 372 mac based block ciphers that is daa and a c mac so briefly we are going to see about the data encryption uh, sorry data authentication algorithm uh, which is based on a des this algorithm can be defined as a using the cipher block cleaning uh, chaining sorry um, cipher block chaining mode of operation of des with a, an initialized initialization vector of the zero uh, the data that is in terms of the message or recorded file or the program to be authenticated are the grouped into the categories uh, 64 bit blocks likewise d1 d2 up to dn using the des encryption uh, algorithm e and the secret key k the data authentication code DAC is calculated as follows O of 1 is E of K D, uh, O of 2 is equal to uh, E of K D 2 O 1, uh, O of 3 is equal to E of K D 3 O 0, O 2. So, uh, likewise, up to O n, E of K D n or O n minus 1. And so, DAC consists of the either the uh, entire block and uh, O n or the leftmost m bit of block with the 16 m uh, uh, to 64 bit so this is very simple structure of the operation of the data and authentication algorithm right for the every des encryption uh, we need to have the 64 bit uh, key and the entire uh, the entry of the uh, one particular data that is of 64 bit so uh, output of the des encryption algorithm uh, algorithm is output of o1 which is of 64 bit again which is given as a uh, back to the input of the second stage now here the data d2 is uh, uh, taken uh, and uh, the output of the first stage is added uh, the des encryption standard uh, the des encryption is processed with the help of key k and output is produced the similar cycle is being uh, continued up to n minus 1 so here the n minus 1 output of o n minus 1 is provided with the next n value that is um, producing the DAC which is which can be a length of 16 to uh, 64 bit so the uh, next is a cipher based MAC that is C MAC 
which is widely adopted in the government as well as industry. Only the machines of uh, one fixed length of the M N bit bits are processed, where N is a cipher block size and M is a fixed positive integer. This refinement adopted by uh, National Institute of Standard and Technology is uh, is the cipher based uh, message authentication code C MAC mode of the operation for use with the AES and triple DES. First. Uh, let us define the operation of the M, uh, CMAC when the message is an integer multiple of n of the C per blocks length b. For AES, b is 128 and for the triple DES, b is 64. The message is divided into n blocks m1, m2, uh, c, mn, uh, up to mn. The algorithm makes use of the k bit encryption key and k uh, and, and b uh, bit uh, constant k1. For AES, the key size is of 128, 192, and 256 bits. For the triple DES, it is a key size is 112, 168 bits. So, CMAC is calculated as follows uh, in terms of the C1, C2, C3. Uh, so, C1 is uh, algorithm that is E is uh, E of K M1. Uh, then C, uh, C2 is M of K, uh, E of K M2 C1. Likewise, up to Cn E of K Mn Cn minus 1 K1 uh, and T is given as a MSB T ln uh, Cn where T is message authentication code also referred to as a tag. Uh, T ln is a bit length of the T. MSB SX which is S uh, leftmost bits of the bit string X. So this, uh, this diagram indicates the two part of the message authentication function that is uh, uh, when we say there is a length of the integer which is a multiple of the block size that is um, here in this case the uh, the key size is uh, key is provided for the encryption with the data uh, m1 uh, where the uh, this particular uh, encryption output is provided to the uh, addition adder of the next encryption uh, level so such kind of uh, Mth uh, uh, this one uh, can be uh, it can actually extend up to mth uh, uh, mth uh, stage. Okay, now here the uh, in this particular case the uh, the message and length is integer multiple. Well, in the first case and in second case the message length is not an integer multiple of the box block size. Then here the message can be there with the Additional values added with the, along with the final message. So this is a uh, MSB which is uh, till uh, uh, given uh, into this particular processing output that is a uh, MSB TLN. Now the two bit keys are divided from the key bit encryption uh, key, which is as follows. Mm -hmm. That is a uh, L is equal to E of K over B. Uh, over us to me, that is k1 is equal to lx, k2 is equal to lx square, that is l into x into x, where multiplication dot is done in the finite field, df is equal to 2 rest to b, and x, x and uh, x square are the first, and the second order polynomials are uh, elements of the b rest to b, 2 rest to b. Thus, the binary representation of the x consists of the b is b minus 2, 0, followed by 10. The binary representation of the x square consists of the b minus 3, 0, followed by 2 raised to, uh, sorry, followed by 100. The finite field is defined with uh, respect to, uh, to the uh, irreducible polynomials. That is a uh, that is a lexicographic uh, graphically first among all such polynomials with the minimum possible number of non zero terms. For the two upper block size, that is, polynomials are 2 raised to, uh, sorry, uh, x raised to 64 plus x raised to 4 plus x to 3 plus x plus 1. And second one is x raised to 128 plus x raised to 7 plus x raised to 2 plus x plus 1. So this is all about the super based uh, uh, Mac algorithm. Thanks for watching.